Flores. Courtney Johns has the day off. Another crash in Draper took out a number of cars at a local dealership and sent a woman to the hospital. For workers at the dealership, it was a shocking start to the day. ABC 4's Caleb Ackerley has that story. We know that car hit this power line here and police and Rocky Mountain Power were out in the area earlier assessing the damage. We also know that car hit several vehicles at Wade Auto Group, which you can see the damage left behind here. Earlier today, Spencer Gardner drove into work at Wade Auto Group in Draper and came across quite a shock. Our owner, he called us and said, hey, there's a little incident at work. And so I'm generally thinking vandalism, a broken windshield broke in. Something's broken, someone keyed a car and um, driving up to the lot, you see four of our vehicles that are just almost completely totaled. Draper police say they got a call about a loud boom in the area a little before three this morning. When they arrived, they found a female driver they say was responsive but seemed intoxicated. She was taken to the hospital with moderate injuries. They also found a power line was struck as well as several vehicles at the dealership. Gardner says it will be hard on the business. Anything from 90 to $125,000 just because uh, we had two luxury vehicles that were hit and another car that was totaled and then probably some major damage on a fourth. Gardner says he hopes the driver will be okay and that everything will be resolved quickly. As someone who's just trying to, you know, make a living and, you know, especially in these kind of days, it's, you know, every, every car for us is an opportunity to make some money and support ourselves. Um, and with four vehicles that could be sold to four families in Utah, it's just really disappointing. As we learn more about this incident, we will keep you updated both on air and online at abc4.com. Reporting from Draper, Kayla Baggerly, ABC4 News.